Well, our next guest is a Melbourne man with the likes of Lady Gaga, Hugh Jackman and Prince Harry all on speed dial. Prince Harry? Mm. <laughs> well, <laughs> once upon a time you would have liked Prince Harry on speed dial. I love him, I love him. Um, next month he's calling on the biggest names in his phone book to join forces for a massive concert event. All my global citizens. All my global citizens. One, two, three, four. For almost 10 years, the Global Citizen Festival has brought music's biggest names together with the aim of ending global poverty. Just some of the stars coming together even Prince Harry has joined the fight. Just imagine how many lives could be saved. The mastermind behind the movement, Melbourne humanitarian Hugh Evans. We want to see an end to extreme poverty, but any idea I had was kind of redundant after talking to Hugh, and I just said, listen, Hugh, I just want to jump on board. Whatever you're doing, I'm in. Last year, he brought one world together at home. I feel very honoured to be a part of the World Health Organisation and Global Citizen in the fight against COVID-19. This year, he's throwing the biggest concert event since Live Aid, beaming to lounge rooms around the world. Whoa. Big names. Yeah. Joining us now live from Los Angeles is co-founder and CEO of Global Citizen, Hugh Evans. Huey, my man, how are you? Great to see you, Carl. How are you? No, great, great to see you to as see well, you. Alan. Great to see you. You have a very ambitious goal to end global poverty uh, by 2030. Is that even possible? Well, ending extreme poverty by 2030 is absolutely possible because when I was born in 1983, 52% of the world's population lived in extreme poverty. It's now down to less than 10% of the world's population today. But we know that COVID-19 has exacerbated the challenge. There are 150 million people based on World Bank estimates that have been pushed into extreme poverty in the last 12 months. And most tragically of all of this, we know that there are 41 million people on the Horn of Africa right now who are on the brink of starvation. So while it's possible, we need a movement of citizens to call on world leaders to invest urgently into the nations that need it most. And you are leading this charge. I mean, we love your passion. Um, just tell us about the Global Citizen Live concert. How's it going to work? Well, Global Citizen Live, it feels like we've been working on this for the last 10 years. It's a once-in-a-generation opportunity to bring the whole world together, focused on the twin issues of defending the planet and defeating poverty in the lead-up to the COP26 climate negotiations and on the eve of the G20 summit. And so really our focus this year is bringing the world's greatest artists together for a moment of unity. We don't see this as a celebration. We see this as a rallying cry for citizens to take action all around the world on the issues of defending the planet and defeating poverty. It's going to come together on September 25th, live from six continents. We're even going to have a show in Sydney, COVID compliant. I'll tell you more about that. But Whoa. we're going to make sure that we're, we're going to be in Sydney. We're going to be in Lagos, Nigeria, oh. in Paris, in front of the Eiffel Tower, all around the Unreal. world. Unreal. Is there anyone that you've, you're trying to get or that you've tried to get in the past that you haven't quite been able to snare for a concert? Well, we, I mean, we're fortunate in that so many amazing Australians and, and incredible international artists have got behind it, whether the likes of Hugh Jackman or, or Delta mm. Goodrum or incredible people like Keith Urban. They've mm. all signed on to be part of this year. And we just announced today our lineup for New York City as well as the lineup for Paris. And, you know, we were thrilled that Billie Eilish, Jennifer Lopez, Coldplay, as well as incredible artists like Ed Sheeran, the Black Eyed Peas, Lizzo, Doja wow. Cat, mm. all signed on <laughs> to be part of this movement. And then, as I said, we are going to be in Sydney as well. So we're thrilled, Carl, that, you know, the artist community really have embraced this and their power to build a movement. Gee, it'd be great yeah. if you could get Michael Jackson. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh. <laughs> i tell you what I love, you is that it seems like no one says no to you. <laughs> Maybe Michael. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Huey. It's great stuff you're doing. For more information, when we tune into Global Citizen Live, head to globalcitizen.org. Um, he, he is like an unreal mm. Australian doing a fabulous job. Well